getting this diagnosis, you know, when you get a cancer diagnosis, you're not just dealing with the reality of that information. Because what happens is in your life, it's almost like there's a Pandora's box that opens up. So it's hard to, when emotional things start happening, when you're dealing with the one emotion, you can't close the doors on other emotions that are going to come into it. Then it affects the dynamic of your entire life. So after that, I uh, found myself slipping into um, I guess depressed would be a, a phrase to use but uh, I, I went inward and um, I became aware of the fact that I, I was in a lot of fear everything else in my life up until that point um, I I, I felt like I had dodged bullets and I kept right on going. This one knocked the blocks out from under me. My greatest fear was not actually death. Um, my greatest fear was that I wouldn't learn how to live before I died that I wouldn't find that fullness, that peace, um, that, that place of contentment in my life before the process of dying. Okay. Two more. And w when you get there, you meet with the doctor, then you meet with the folks who are running the study uh, you go through a series of, um, you know, checks as far as blood pressure, blood, what have you. If you don't pass that hurdle, you don't get in. It was a moment w where when you held that capsule in your hand, boy, it, it, there was so much promise. And it was like you knew once you swallowed that, there was no return. Internally, like you can tell, there's a little bit of a shift taking place. Um, and even though I thought I could have sat there and kept talking with them, I, the wisdom was that it was time now to lay down and go into the process. And when I did that, the magic, if I can use that word, occurred for me the minute I put my headphones on and the music started. And the, the timing was perfect. And, and I was aware of the fact that I kept waiting to see if something, you know, wild was going to happen colors, um, all of these possibilities. Hard to articulate that still. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I didn't know where I was, but I didn't go anywhere. But it was an amazing, amazing journey. It was so overwhelmingly incredible and beautiful that I had tears falling down my face. And I had eye shadows, you know, eye guards on. It was beautiful where the space I was in was just... You know, it was, in life you realize sometimes you feel like there's a harness on you. There was no harness here. 
the first notable event for me during that first session was a point where while listening to the music that was playing at that time, my breath followed this note up. And when the note stopped, I held my breath. Aware, I was fully aware of that. And I thought, wow. Huh. It's okay not to breathe. Cool. All right. It was that simple. It, and I thought, how could it be that simple? Dear God, it is that simple. Ha! <laughs> Remember that. Remember that when you get there. You know what? It's okay not to breathe anymore. Now, I'm telling you this, and it probably sounds, you know, wacky. But I, I got it in an instant that it was okay not to breathe. And don't we all want to fight? Aren't we all going to fight for one more breath? One more breath, one more breath. Will I remember? Will I remember how easy it's going to be? I emerged from that first session, oddly enough, having an extremely strong sense of self. And the importance of me and in, in my relationship to everything around me. I think what happened was it opened my heart. My perspective grew but I came out of this feeling assured. Maybe that's it. I felt, I felt okay. You know, what can I, can I tell you what I knew that made, I don't know. I just knew everything was going to be okay. This study has changed everything in my life. Everything. I am more patient. I am more thoughtful. I stop and I take the time. I am present. And I can be present all by myself and smile and say thank you. That's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I get to breathe another day. I get to feel, do you know I walk out and I put my feet in the grass? And I feel that grass between my toes. And I'm like, this is great. It, it's, it's just those little tiny things. And I'm, I'm just in gratitude. <laughs> I'm just happy about the whole thing. You know how lucky, how lucky. So I have a few years chopped off my life. I do. But look at the quality that I'm able to experience now. If I got this for a week, it would have been worth it. That I've had it for a year is astounding. I can't even imagine how uh, it will continue to amplify. <laughs>